God, give me the serenity to accept the outcomes of the trait I cannot change, the courage to change the outcomes of the trait I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Amen. Guys, this should be the number one prayer as a forex trader. You have it on your wall and you read it every day. I don't care whatsoever religion you believe in, whether you are Christian, you are Muslim, you are Buddhist, you are an atheist, just have this in your house somewhere. Because this is going to remind you every day that as soon as you open your computer, there are outcomes you cannot change, there are outcomes you can change, and you need to have the wisdom to know the difference. It's as easy as that. It took me almost about four to five years in trading before I could master this. For those of you who don't know where I am, my name is Sindema Zegolov. I've been trading Forex for nine years. I'm the most traveled Forex trader, and I have a story I have to share with you guys. You guys who have to permit me, I'll have to use a swearing word here, right? But to even begin with the video, fuck your strategy. What do I mean by fuck your strategy? When it comes to trading, I've learned it, or I learned it the hard way, that when it comes to trading, no matter the strategy you are using, there are three aspects you need to be able to learn. So long as you master these three aspects, even if you have the worst win rate, bro, you will still be making money at the end of the day. First aspect is risk management. Second aspect is money management. And the third aspect is trading psychology. Don't get me wrong, I'm not saying the strategy is not important, but fuck your strategy if you don't understand these three concepts. Risk management, money management, and trading psychology. Because when it comes to trading, take any strategy you want to talk. Maybe you want to talk about moving average strategy, support and resistance, the Fibonacci, the ICT, smart money concept. Forget about all these strategies, right? Take anyone, any one of your choice. And if you can implement these theory concepts, the concept of risk management, money management, and trading psychology into this strategy, any strategy of your choice, you make money in forex trading. Quote me anywhere. You make money in forex trading. Let me explain why I'm saying this. When it comes to forex trading, that's why I see our ultimate prayer. What does it say? Grant me the serenity to accept the outcomes of the trades I can change, the wisdom or the courage to change the outcomes of the one I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. I'm going to be dissecting this right down so that you guys can understand what I'm saying. When it comes to trading, you can do your analysis, you can do everything, you can know the market is breaking support and resistance, it's forming fair value gap, it's bouncing here, it's producing liquidity swap. Say all these jargons. By the end of the day, once you've already pressed that buy or that say on your computer, no one knows. Even if I'm the one telling you I know the outcome of that trade, I'm lying. Even if your guru is telling you or your ICT mentor is telling you he knows the outcome of that trade, that mentor is lying. That mentor is a colossal liar because no one in the forex market knows the outcome of any trade. In forex trading, you can say 50-50, all right? I used to watch one TikTok, they say 50-50. In forex trading, forex trading is a game of probability. You only have a strategy that tells you, okay, okay, this setup has a high probability of playing in my favor, but it's a game of probabilities. Meaning, once you already press that buy or that sell on your computer, you don't know the outcome of that trade. You don't know if that trade is going to be a winner or that trade is going to be a loser. You have to let the market do what it has to do. You have to even move away from that particular trade. Continue, continue looking for another trade. But why will you still be a millionaire at the end of the day? Because let's just say the market takes any direction. If the market takes the, the sour direction and goes against you, you already have a predefined risk on that particular trade. That's why I used to say never risk more than one percent of your account on one trade. Maybe you already you've already told you already told yourself you are truthful to yourself. You already tell yourself the truth that okay, if this trade doesn't go my way, I'm very very comfortable to let one percent go. That's it. 
you've already told yourself that if this trade doesn't go my way, then I'm very, very comfortable to let one person go. And if this trade goes my way, I'll be going for a risk to reward of one is to two. I'll be making two percent. Meaning, for that particular day, if I come to my computer and I've already placed four trades, I used to start thinking on the negative. Not that I'm, I'm, I'm being pessimistic or not that I'm being negative. No, I always like to start thinking on the negative. What do I mean by start thinking on the negative? Meaning, if I've placed four trades for that particular day, I already asked myself, what's the risk per trade? If I'm risking 1% per trade, like most of the time what I do in my profile accounts or even private accounts, I already told myself, okay, if I already have four trades off for the day, it means I'm already down by four trades. Even though those trades are still running, they're not yet losers, but I'm already telling myself that I'm already down by 4%. Meaning, I've already accepted the risk to say, okay, even this trade, even if this trade don't go my way, I have already accepted the trade that I'll be down by 4%. And some days, I used to have 100% win rate, or maybe I'll have 50% win rate, or maybe 40% win rate. Maybe I'll have four of those trades all will go my way, and then instead of losing 4%, I'll make 8% at the end of the day. Instead of losing 4%, I'll have 50% win rate where two will be losers and two winners. If two are losers, I've just lost 2%, and if two are winners, I've just made 4%, and at the end of the day, my net for the day is plus 2%. If you can make plus 2%, even at the end of the month, in a, as a trader, if you can guarantee yourself that you can make plus 2% at the end of the month as a trader, you'll be a millionaire. It just becomes a game of zero. If someone gives you a million dollar to say trade that particular million dollar account, 2% on a million dollar account is $20,000. Last year, I traded with $5 million and I made more than $400,000 in payout. Documented everything on this channel. From the first video, I shot that video where, when I was in the Europe tour. Right, This year, I'm on Asia tour. As I'm shooting this video, I'm currently in Vietnam. From here, we're going to a couple of other Asian uh, countries. So this year, I'm on Asian, Asian tour. Last year, I was in a Europe tour where I went to more than 27 countries. I shot that video in Hungary and I said, okay, I'm returning to prop firms and my goal is to get 200 to is to get two million dollars in live funding and that i even surpassed that goal i created a highlight there was a highlight on instagram i created the highlight and the target i just wrote the target two million and behold by the end of the year i was trading with five million dollars across different profit more than eight different profits payout of more than four hundred thousand dollars what was the concept again that i had at the back of my mind these three concepts risk management money management trading psychology with this three core any strategy you have my friend my friend you'll be able to make money in the forex market because you have already come back to that ultimate prayer that says god give me the serenity to accept the outcome of the trades i can't change there are going to be some trades you can't change the outcomes you don't you, you don't know what's going to happen you can place a trade which has to do with euro usd since the United States dollar is there, maybe Joe Biden just come out and give a particular news. And that particular fundamental news just skyrocket and, and blast your trade and affect your trade. Those are news events you have no control. CPI can come out and mess up your trade. You have no control. Those are outcomes you have no control over. That's why you can see our ultimate prayer says, Father, oh God, give me the serenity to accept the outcomes of the trades I can change. And also the courage to change the outcomes of the trades I can. Because there are some. Maybe the trades is going against you based on the errors. Maybe you didn't put the stop loss on that particular trade. Then you can quickly just, just run and go and put that stop loss. Or maybe you are trading during a news event when you were not supposed to be trading during a news event. Or maybe you were going against your trading plan. You were not supposed to go through. So that's when you talk about the courage to change the outcome you can change. And then the wisdom to know the difference. So again, God give me the serenity to accept the outcomes of the trades I can change, the courage to change the outcomes of the trades I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Just to borrow another quote again from a legend of investing in the industry, let me borrow a quote from Warren Buffett. He says, the first rule of investing is never lose your trading capital. And the second rule of investing is never forget rule 
number one. Very, very, very important. So can you see the emphasis Warren Buffett is putting on you being able to preserve your capital? When it comes to trading, whether you are trading on your private account or on a pro firm account, capital preservation is the number one thing. Whether you like it or not, capital preservation is the call of everything you do. Most of you guys already know what you are not supposed to be doing when it comes to trading and you do the exact opposite. That's why I still come back to these three calls. The course of trading beside the strategy, money management, risk management, and trading psychology. Trading discipline, discipline, understanding yourself, knowing your, the kind of person you are and stuff like that, they're all part of small micro component of these three big components. Risk management, money management, and trading psychology. Most of you guys know very well you're not supposed to be over leveraging when you're trading with a pro firm. But you see leveraging. Most of you are watching my video know very well you're not supposed to be doing account management or asking another person to trade for you, but you're doing the same thing. Most of you guys know you shouldn't be trying to trade your profit account during the news. That's gambling. You are still doing the same thing, hoping to win. You're still putting buy, stop, sell, stop during news events, trying to scalp, trying to, trying to gamble and pass a profit challenge. Most of you guys know that's not a consistent way to go, but you are still doing the same thing. You're, it's like you're doing the same thing every day, every day, and expecting different results. That's insanity, right? When you still you do the same thing every day and expect <laughs> different result. You're not going to get different result. So guys, I'll still come back to the same thing. Fuck your strategy. Focus on these three calls of trading you have in the forex market. And trust me, even if you have a win rate of 30%, you'll be a millionaire. I've spoken about the power of risk to reward of my channel. Risk to reward is a component of risk management. I've spoken about the concept of predefining your risk. That's still the, the component of risk management. I've spoken about all these concepts on my channel, and it's no doubt that you guys see Golov University students anywhere they go, when you see them, when you see them, they trade, they don't care, they don't even care so much on the outcome of the trade. What they care is on how they manage those trades. That's why I used to tell if you ask any call of university student, I used to always tell them, analyze like a pro and execute like a robot. That means when it comes to you analyzing your chart, take your time, use any other strategy you, you have to analyze those trades. When it comes to you placing the trade, if you see a setup, place that trade, execute that trade as a robot, because you don't know the outcome. If anyone tells you that he knows the outcome of that trade, that person is line so guys stop trying to reinvent the wheel stop trying to do everything which is opposite of what is going to make you to win in the forex market so again god give me the serenity to accept the outcomes of the trades i can change the courage to change the outcomes of the trades i can and the wisdom to know the difference